Okay, so Eliza, you want to talk about the sponging yep. first? You have a sponge. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Sorry. with the background, what the colors we're going to use is we're going to use the a yellow, but we're going to put white in it so it's a little bit more dulled down. So I'll show you that we always pull it off to the side, mix it together. We don't use a ton of paint when we do this. Um, and then to get some of this darkness, especially around the edges, um, we use a little bit of the raw sienna. Mm -hmm. um, the motion that we do for this is you kind of want to not just completely tap it, but you want to drag your wrist a little bit, move it. Can but you, you don't zoom wanna, in um, a little bit? Thank you. You don't want to just like swipe, so kind of drag, mm -hmm. move your wrist, keep like making different marks mm -hmm. as you go because we don't want this to all look like the same all the way across. So there'll be some brighter areas, some darker areas. Um, so we want it a little bit darker on the edges, so you can pull a little of that raw sienna in the beginning and let it get a little brighter as you come in, okay? And that illuminates the center a little bit more. Okay, so Eliza's going to get started. Don't wet your sponge, guys, okay? So I'm going to pull the white off to the side, and then I'm going to put a little bit of yellow in there, and that'll make like our, um, our light yellow color that we want in the beginning. Sometimes I'll have a little bit more yellow in it. Sometimes I'll have a little more white in it. Um, I could also dip the tip in a little bit of the um, raw sienna. And then before I use it, I kind of wipe it off because you don't want a ton of that raw sienna. So how I start is I'll start in one corner and I kind of um, start moving my wrist um, around and I don't want these strokes to all look the same. I'll have, remember to have some light areas, some dark areas, and um, as I go in, I'm going to make it a little bit. I'm put this right up here. Is that good? Yep. Okay. So I'm going to keep doing this, um, kind of start adding a little bit more white. Um, when you're um, adding more colors, make sure you don't have um, like a rainbow of colors. So if you see like a solid um, differentiation between two different colors you want to mix a medium shade and blend it out in the like in the line where you see that yeah and she'll start pulling in more white as she comes in and you'll have to take some of your light into your dark and vice versa so when you're bringing dark into your light your pressure comes off when you're bringing light into your dark your pressure comes off as well okay and don't like move to another section like keep moving along as Eliza is guys or you can come across the top but don't go from like one corner to the next make sure you fade it over it gets brighter as you come in don't use a lot of paint whenever people use sponge painting they're they're um they tend to want to use a lot of paint and you're really just scuffing the canvas especially when you have this white canvas with this nice pale yellow you don't have to do like full coverage very nice. You can hear how like she's scuffing it. I don't know if you can zoom in real close just for not too close to over zoom when it gets fuzzy, but just so you can see. And if you want to tilt your hand a little bit so they can see that, just there you go. If you can, there you go. So she's just scuffing. <laughs> So you want to talk about what you're doing, like kind of blending it out? Yeah, so now I'm going back through blending it out a little bit. Um, if there's anything like super harsh, if I feel like I need to add any like brightness back in, I can do that now. I like your yellow better than this because I remember some people did it brighter in class yeah. too and it's really pretty like this. Where mine's a little bit more dull um, and I, I kind of like your shade better. <laughs> I like it better, Eliza. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And remember, ooh, mo a lot of this will get covered, cool so if that. there's, um, <laughs> and sure, if, sure. if there's anything like you don't like, like in this general area, some of it will get covered, so mm -hmm. don't get too hung up on it. 